mentioned once per day. I've read some things about doing it twice per day just to split the dose. What do you think about that? Uh, it can be beneficial. Some patients we have seen get a, a temporary pain relief effect from BPC-157. And so in those types of cases, we might split it. It's still really unclear how our body naturally is using BPC-157. So like the endogenous BPC-157 that we use, how is it released when an injury occurs? We don't fully understand all of that type of stuff. And so there are some people who, you know, will do twice a day, even three times a day, you know, based on kind of an eight to 12 hour half-life, depending on the person. And so it can be beneficial, but I, I think some people put too much weight on it as being like, oh, this is how it should be done. And I don't know if it is, I don't know if it's better. I don't know if it's worse. Uh, we don't know. So the, a lot of the studies that, uh, that are done in the animal models, like for example, the oral model is, I mean, they're just putting it in the drinking water. So those animals are drinking it all throughout the day. Um, if they're getting sub-Q, they're going to be getting sub-Q you know, once daily or intraperitoneal, which is equivalent to us getting an intravenous. They're going to do that once daily. And so when you compare those things, it's like, well, they didn't see a difference between uh, oral, you know, sp done throughout the whole day, same dose though, versus getting a single intravenous or a single sub-Q injection. So I don't have the answer because we don't have any large uh, research trials or any large databases saying that, oh, when patients do it twice a day, they notice added benefit. So we usually just are gonna do it uh, based on clinical response. So if we've got a patient that's responding well and we wanna see if they could respond better, we might double their dose and have them do it twice a day and see if they notice anything, right? If they're healing at a projected rate that they that they feel and they know like, oh, over the past four weeks, I've gotten 20% better. And then we double their dose and have it do it twice a day. And over the next four weeks, they still only get an another 20% better. Then it's probably not helping and probably not a good spend of the money. So we could drop down to once per day. Other patients will notice, oh yeah, like I'm now, I feel like 30% better over this next four weeks. And so from there, we just use their personalized individual response to help guide our uh, recommendations.